If you're looking to know more about IUDs, we advise you to watch part one of the IUD series first before watching this video, just so that you get a complete understanding of IUDs. If you're considering an IUD but still not sure how exactly it works, then keep watching this video to find out. There are two types of IUDs, hormonal and non-hormonal, or copper. While both are effective methods of birth control, they work differently to prevent pregnancy. Hormonal IUDs like Alloyra work by releasing hormones that make your cervical mucus thicker. This additional mucus blocks sperm so they can't reach and fertilize an egg. In some cases, hormonal IUDs can also prevent release of the egg from the ovary or ovulation. Non-hormonal or copper IUDs like Silverline are hormone-free and work by stopping sperm from fertilizing an egg. Copper IUDs are also the most effective method of emergency contraception if inserted within 120 hours or five days after unprotected sex. Fun fact about the non-hormonal or copper IUD. After insertion for emergency contraception, it continues providing highly effective contraception for years after. So if you want to stay protected, just leave it in. Now that we know how the IUDs work, let's talk more about how they're inserted and what you can expect. The procedure will require you to go to a doctor or a nurse. As a first step, they will review your medical history and examine your vagina or cervix and uterus. The healthcare provider may also offer testing for STIs, or sexually transmittable infections. To insert the IUD, the nurse or doctor will use a speculum, a metal or plastic device used during a pelvic exam, and a special inserter to place the IUD in the uterus. The procedure usually takes less than five minutes. Ask your healthcare provider about options for pain relief before IUD insertion. This can include tablets or local anesthesia. Many women feel some cramping and pain when the IUD is being inserted. If you feel pain or discomfort during the insertion, be sure to tell your healthcare provider. You can ask for the procedure to stop at any time. You may get some period type pains and some irregular bleeding in the few hours and days after insertion. Some people may also feel a little bit dizzy during and after the insertion. The IUD is a very safe contraception method for most women, and you should talk to a healthcare provider to find out if it's right for you. Serious problems with IUDs are rare. However, there are some side effects such as spotting between periods and irregular periods. For women using the hormonal IUD, bleeding may stop completely, but this is not harmful. In fact, many women may prefer this and use the hormonal IUD as a treatment for heavy painful periods. The non-hormonal or copper IUD can cause heavier periods and stronger menstrual cramps. It's important to note that IUDs do not protect against STIs. If you decide that you want to get pregnant, you can get your IUD removed and your fertility should return to normal immediately. Whether or not you can get an IUD inserted depends on a few factors. Do you have symptoms of an STI or a pelvic infection? Do you think you might be pregnant? Do you have any vaginal bleeding that's different from your usual pattern? Are you allergic to non-hormonal or copper IUDs? Have you ever had breast cancer for hormonal IUDs? Consult a doctor or a nurse to better understand which IUD would suit you best. For more information on Silverline and Aloira products mentioned in the video, visit dktwomancare.org slash contraception slash IUDs.